In his remarks, President Xi pointed out that the summit was convened at a time of momentous changes unseen in the century. The COVID-19 pandemic still drags on, with cases surging here and there. The world economy is getting more fragile. The geopolitical environment remains tense. Global governance is seriously inadequate. Food and energy crises are compounded by one another. All this poses formidable challenges to human development. She said it is imperative that all countries advocate peace, development, and win-win cooperation. President Xi underscored the need to make global development more inclusive, resilient, and beneficial to all. He said the Cold War mentality has long been outdated, with human civilization already in the 21st century. Division and confrontation serve no one's interest. Only solidarity and common development is the right choice to make. All parties should continue to deepen international cooperation against COVID-19, curb global inflation, and defuse systemic economic and financial risks. In particular, developed economies should mitigate the negative spillovers from their monetary policy adjustment. He added, China is implementing the G20's debt service suspension initiative in all respects, and has suspended the largest amount of debt service payment among all G20 members. He noted that every nation aspires for a better life. Modernization is not a privilege of any single country. Front runners in development should sincerely help others develop and provide more global public goods. China has proposed the Global Development Initiative, established the Global Development and South-South Cooperation Fund, and will increase its funding for the China UN Peace and Development Fund. President Xi underscored the need to continue to uphold the WTO-centered multilateral trading system, actively push forward WTO reform, and enhance trade and investment liberalization and facilitation. He pointed out that the food and energy security is the most pressing challenge. The root cause of the ongoing crisis has interrupted supply chains and international cooperation. The way out is to enhance cooperation on market supervision and regulation, build partnerships on commodities, develop an open, stable, and sustainable commodities market, and work together to unclog supply chains and stabilize market prices. The G20 should provide developing countries with necessary support in production, collection, storage, funding, and technology. In conclusion, Xi Jinping noted that the Communist Party of China has recently convened its 20th National Congress, laying out the goals, tasks, and guiding policies for the party and the country in the next five years and beyond. He said that China marching toward modernization and will bring more opportunities to the world, inject stronger momentum for international cooperation, and make greater contribution to human progress.